out. The latest Altran FinTech Household Resilience Index reveals the significant impact of elevated interest rates on the financial burden faced by South African households. Economist Dr. Rulof Boerta highlights a concerning 8.7% year-on-year decline in the ratio of household income to debt cost, indicating a substantial increase in debt servicing expenses. Furthermore, this trend is exacerbated by a sharp rise in the prime rate from 7% to 11.75%, marking a staggering 68% surge in credit cost. We turn to economist Dr. Rulof Boerta for further insight on the matter. The latest uh, Eltron Fintech Household Resilient, Resilient Index uh, is not good news. Uh, it was to be expected, of course, because if you have the highest interest rate in 14 years, Consumers are bound to start battling with their finances, and that's exactly what's happened. The index has taken a slight dip. Uh, according to Jan Zedetli, the MD of Altron Fintech, um, a lot of businesses out there are also waiting for interest rates to decline so that the cost of capital is lowered. Uh, at this point in time, with no uh, job creation, etc., it should be a warning sign to the Monetary Policy Committee to please stop the restrictive monetary policy. Um, the debt costs of your average household, uh, if you look at the latest AFRI, as a percentage of disposable income is at its highest level in 15 years, 9.2%. And um, what is of real concern is that when Jill Marcus was governor of the Reserve Bank, the average real prime rate, that's now the prime rate minus the CPI, the inflation rate, was 3.1%. It is now 6.5%. This means that the cost of servicing debt has more than doubled since Jill Marcus retired. Unfortunately, I wish she was still around. Uh, but really, it is high time that interest rate starts declining to lower the cost of capital, to get more investment in productive capacity and all important to create jobs. That should be government and the Reserve Bank's number one priority is to create jobs in this economy because that broadens the tax base and it alleviates poverty simultaneously.